doing well. Let's move it back a half. Yeah, we're back like four clicks to the left. Which is funny, because you know why? Because you said 16. I'm like, fuck that. I went a full 20. Mm. Yeah. You went bold. I always go bold. I know. Shoot three rounds, because that's yellow, so it'll contrast better. Three rounds slow fire, focusing on accuracy in the, the yellow circle at the bottom. So that's a 25 yard zero. I would want a 50 yard zero on it. A 25 meter matches 300 meters. A 50 is, a, is also a 200. So if you put a 50 yard zero on your gun, it's a very flat trajectory for the first 200 yards, which is where majority of people shoot stuff, right? Like right. either animals or people. The 25 meter classic military zero gives you a bigger box. So the difference is, is that if you put a 25 meter zero on your gun, Regardless, you always aim center of mass, right? So if you zero at 25, you're always gonna aim center of mass for whatever target's being presented to you, right? So your window is basically this big, right? So from zero to 300 meters, the bullet's always gonna hit somewhere up or down in that box, right? So it's right. about like an eight to 10 inch box. If you put a 50 yard zero on your gun, for the first 200 yards, your, your window's this big. It's only about right. two inches, right? So it's a very flat trajectory for the first 200 meters, but after 200 meters, 200 yards, it drops off a lot more. So you got to hold about 12 inches high. So if I had a 50 yard zero on my gun, I'm always going to aim center of mass, point of aim, point of impact, plus or minus, you know, up to two inches, zero to 200 meters, 200 yards. If I have to shoot at a target 300 yards away, then I'm going to aim like right here. Because well, it's, it's, it's about a 12 inch drop. Same, no, you don't adjust your aim. You always aim center of mass. Because it's about margin, it's the margin of error, okay? But if you know it's going to hit high, then why wouldn't you Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying if, if, you, if you're going to do that, you're better off with a 50 yard zero. So for the first 200 yards, you don't have to hold over. I'm not going to hold over for a fucking inch, especially with a carbine on a moving target, zero to 200 yards. At 300 yards, distance equals time and safety. So if I am, if I have the ability to discern that my target's 300 yards away instead of 200 yards, then I also have the time to do a holdover and hold about 12 inches high with that 50 slash 200 yard zero. So my bullets, so I'm aiming like right about basically the chin or lower head, my rounds are gonna drop. My point of aim is gonna be here, but my point of impact is gonna be center of mass. Because my goal is to always put rounds center of mass wherever target's presented. It's gonna cross paths at one point, it's gonna hit its, its pinnacle, it's gonna, like its, its maximum height, yeah. and it's gonna come back down, right? Mm -hmm. So the analogy I use is this, is that, all right, so if I throw a football, right? Yeah. I throw it straight out. As soon as I let go of it, it's being affected. It's immediately being affected by gravity, right? So for me, if I throw it straight, it's enough to hit the, the thing, right? Yeah. But if I do the same thing, I wanna throw this pin like fucking 20 feet, same force, same angle, it's still only gonna go the same distance, right? So for this pen to go 20 feet, I have to put it at a higher arc, same amount of energy put behind it, now it goes further, yeah. right? So what I'm saying with this is like with 50 meters, my line of sight and the trajectory of the bullet cross at 50 meters. It hits its, its apex, right? So it's gonna be a little bit high. So say this is about 150, 175 yards. So that means on paper, if there's a target here, it would hit slightly higher my line of sight, my point of aim, right? So by, what you're saying is it drops so, this arc closer to the line of sight by making it 50 instead of 25. Yeah, so that window, it, like that, that two inch, that's a two inch window, the trajectory. Yeah. The line of sight, your trajectory is a two inch window out to 200 meters, right? For 50. <clears throat> With a 50 yard zero, right? But after, after 200, it drops like a brick, right? It's not, it's not an ideal trajectory for targets past 200 yards. It's an ideal trajectory for zero to 200 yards. But so with a 25 meter zero, 25 meter zero is a bigger window. It's a, like about a 10 inch box. Mm -hmm. So zero to 300 meters, my round's gonna strike as far up as five inches high over five inches low. That's, it's a, it's a bigger it's a 10 impact inch window. Zone. There's a 10 inch window, right? Yeah. Like roughly, right? Depends on the bullet and barrel length and all the other bullshit. There's yeah, no absolute. You're absolutes. still 19 inches. You're still 19 shoulder inches shoulder, 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 right? Yeah. So it gives you the greatest margin of error because here's the thing is like for your scared 18 year old infantryman, he's not going to fucking range est a target. It's like, oh, that guy, that guy's about three, maybe 250, 300 yards. You know, like he's not going to do that. Somebody, some dude's shooting at him. He's in, you know, in his sights. He's going to hold center of mass of target presented. He's going to squeeze the trigger and hopefully he's going to get a hit, right? So what I'm saying is, since the majority of land warfare occurs under 300 meters, like 300 meters is realistic, like that's like, people can still shoot at you 300 meters away. Like people can shoot at you from 500 meters or 1,000 meters. But the majority of gunfights are gonna occur 
under 300 meters, and the majority of them are going to occur under 200 meters. It's going to be across the room, across the street, down the city block. So realistically, one to 200 yards. So then why wouldn't you put like a 75 yard dope on it? and then or zero on it and then have it come back to Look, like there's, there's there's people like there's SWAT cops SWAT cops that zero their guns for fucking seven yards because they're never going to shoot past the, li uh, the length of the living room right yeah. so they're point eight point impacts dead nuts on for seven fucking yards my argument against that is like well that's cool that you're kicking indoors and shooting people in their living room all day the, the bad guy right but what if you get called out to a fucking mall you go to a city mall What's, a, what's a, your line of sight in, in a mall? Oh, I thought it was like yards. maybe several hundred yards, or a school, like an aisle, or a, a hallway in a school. Like if you have a straightaway in some schools, it might be at least 100 yards. So here you are with a seven-yard zero trying to shoot your weapon 100 yards. It's not going to work out very well for you. I am a big advocate of the 50-yard zero because of that narrow trajectory, from zero to 200 meters, 200 yards, right? You don't want to use Kentucky windage. You don't want to use holdovers on a carbine because it's a carbine, it's not a sniper rifle. Yeah. So my thing is, is that no matter what, all right, so if a dude's popping out around a wall, like around a wall with an with AK, right? And he's yeah. like this, what am I gonna aim for? I'm gonna aim center of mass of the target being presented to myself, right? Yeah. It might only be his head or only be like a section of his torso. So if he's only got a third of his torso exposed, I'm still gonna shoot center of mass for that third that's being exposed. I'm not gonna, Put it all the way in center of mass as I can because I might hit the wall. It's about it, it, like what I'm saying is it's about margin of error. Your target, I get it. So the 50 slash 200 is a more precise zero because no matter what, I'm always going to aim center of mass of the target presented. Ideally, it's a dude bladed out, staring, you know, like right there, like this at you. Like what did you put on my gun? The full width of the torso. Remember? I guarantee I put a 50 yard. We put a 50 yard zero on your gun because it's a no brainer. I'm always going to aim center of mass of the target presented zero to 200 yards. It doesn't matter, right? And if the target's and you're more, you're saying it's only how what inch? All right, there? So, so like check this out, right? It's two inch. Like it's a two inch. Uh, three inch window. It's like two to three. Like I'm saying, two it's up, like, two like, down. Like, there's no absolutes. Yeah, know, ballistics because of barrel length, altitude, so fucking just temperature. The cartridge itself can throw everything. Right. So what I'm saying is like, regardless if it's a ten, a ten point three or a fourteen point five or sixteen or eighteen, and it's a fifty five grain, a sixty two grain, a seventy seven grain, the window that trajectory is is a smaller path and trajectory. It's, it, there's less deviation for that fifty yard zero than it is with a twenty five. What I'm saying is. The, the, if you not if you're not good at range or guesstimating range, right? Like, oh, that guy's about 200 yards away. That guy's about 300 yards away. Like, as in a novice uh, infantryman, a new shooter, right? Yeah. He's not really good. At, like, you know how many guys can't range est, right? Like, how far is it from here to shoot? I don't know, 100 yards. No, motherfucker, it's 25 yards, right? People are terrible at that. Yeah. So the thing is, if I can see it, I can hit it with that 25 slash 300 meter zero, right? So that's what it boils down to. Is that since we teach our people to always shoot center center mass. Of whatever target's presented, which ideally is a torso, if I'm wrong or the target moves or I'm moving, the, the variables that are going to go into me making that hit. So I'm aiming here, but I, I might actually hit here, or I might hit here, I might hit which here. Which I agree. I you want you want to increase your, your margin. That's what you're doing. You're increasing your, your the likelihood of a hit. Yeah. With that. But so that's only from 50 <coughs> to 200. What happens if you got to shoot someone 20 yards away from you? It doesn't make it. It's, it's within it's, that it's that two to three inch window. So it's from zero. To 200. So, all right, so, to 200. all right, so we put that 50 yard zero on yeah. at like 25 yards, it doesn't matter. The only time the round's I, gonna hit, it's, it's gonna, gonna hit, hit high. It's gonna, yeah, right. So, but the thing is, it doesn't fucking matter because you're hitting a torso target, right? Yeah. Now, the only time it's gonna matter to me is if this dude is now holding a, 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 a clacker to a suicide vest or he's holding a gun to a girl's head or, or whatever scenario like that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not worried about this because one, his torso is probably obscured by the suicide. I don't wanna shoot him in the explosive, right? And I can't shoot him in the torso because the hostage, right? Now, my only potential window is gonna be the head, right? And that's why we have the terminal T. That's why we shoot for the terminal T of the Marines because that's, that's the light switch right there that if i instantaneously but here's the thing it was that shooting for that smaller target so you and me both know that the width of the target is 19 inches from shoulder to shoulder the average width of of a head eight on inches. a male is not what i think it's eight inches it's nine inches nine oh inches. that's arguable but nine. regardless there's a difference one inch eight eight to nine an eight or nine inch target is infinitely harder to hit regardless of distance than a 19 inch shoulder to shoulder size target right but if i, I that's the only shot i can take so at that point i have to worry about height over more so if I'm like 15 yards away from my target with a 25 yard zero or 50 yard zero, the the center of my optic where the dot's residing and the center line of the bore is several inches above, right? So height over bore. It's like when dudes will, they'll have their muzzle in front of a wall, their ACOG is clearing that wall, but their muzzle is because of height over bore. So that, that's why when we do like CMP style shooting or CQC type stuff, what do you do with an ACOG, it's hat, hat on the head. You put the, the chevron up here, no, you aim high. 
you're putting your, the tip of your chevron up here because the round's gonna drop because the height of our board. That's at like 15 yards. I have to aim high to put the bullet center of mass in the eye socket, yeah. right? So, but that's the thing is like, I don't, I only worry about that in two different times. I worry about that when it's a critical shot, like it's somebody wearing a suicide vest or a hostage, right? Where there's no margin of error. There's literally no margin of error, right? I have to lights, like hit the lights, yeah, right? Yeah. Otherwise, if it's just a dude holding an AK-47, center of mass, boom, boom, right? In the spinal column, the heart and all, you know, the critical infrastructure of the torso, the thoracic cavity or whatever, right? I'm not a fucking doctor, but that's where all the good stuff is. The spine, the heart, you know, all the organs. The thing is, is that if I'm aiming here across the room and I'm impacting, boom, boom, what fucking difference does it make? Now, the other thing is, it's like, I'm not gonna shoot like, all right, so like IDPA and three gun competitions and shit like that, it's always boom, boom, next target. Boom, boom, next target. What makes you think you're only gonna shoot a guy two times in the chest? Like what makes you think that's gonna work, right? That's why things like we do a controlled pair, that's why we have stuff like the failure to stop drill where it's boom, 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 right? So it's like, to me, I always say it's like boxing. So the boxer's like body shot, body shot, uppercut, uppercut right? And that the uppercut's the KO punch, right? Then you so remember what I said? How I said about this is a 25 yard zero. So you were shooting at 50 yards with a 25 yard zero. So see, you're a little bit high, like whatever, this little guy here. Yeah, we're counting the two right close. So I, I'm gonna trust these two rounds more so than this round here, okay? So you probably like dipped the gun a little bit and that's why it, it, it impacted lower. So you're aiming here. So what is that, like four or five inches? So that's a 50. So like what I'm saying is like, it'd be a slightly higher, like you're, if you were shooting at like 100 or 100 it Might be a little over that line. Just a little bit over that line, right? So you hit that apex and now you start getting back out towards like two, 253, starts coming back down, right? So like what I'm saying is like, the bullet is being affected by gravity the second it leaves the muzzle, right? We're lobbing it. We're throwing that football 25 yards. We're not throwing that football across, you know, five yards. Right. So, so this, you want to come down thing, like 12 quick. Yes. For a 50. For 50. But also this right here, from going here to here to here, is usually a good indication of your breathing habits as well. When you're shooting, when you get a straight yeah, line up. That's more breathing than trigger control because you're... Trigger control is usually when it starts to be yeah, going yeah, left and right. right. But you did the same thing with these three. Because that's pretty much right on line. So yeah. I mean, your trigger control is great. So we'll just take it down. I just have to lose a little weight in my stomach. Yeah. It'll be good. Everybody always says that. Like, <laughs> it's like a, well, I can feel it. It's like, like a built-in sandbag. So I would take it like an inch left because look at that, that's a nice shot group. So like four is left? Four clicks left? Yeah, yeah like four. Or should I go bold and go six? I go four. <gasps> yeah, I go four. Yeah, this here, right? Center of mass. So this is basically center of mass. Okay. So oh, right here, like literally right here. So right here. So right here. It's like, yeah, this is right, right here. Okay. So shoot three rounds. I want you to aim for that little black dot on the, on the center of the head, as absolute center of mass on the head as you can, the center of that triangle. Three rounds, slow fire on that, that, that center black of mass. Square. The black square. All right, we're there. We start at 25, we went out to 50. We fine tuned it, so you're dead on at 50, right? We go out to 70, you still got these three shots in the center of mass at, at 70 yards, right? That's going to continue. That group is just going to probably grow with distance, right? The further away the heart is to see the target, hit the target, right? To actually discern where center of mass is on the target, right? 50 yards, zero. Now we go to about five yards, right? It's not very far, right? So you aimed each shot, one, two, three here. And where the bullets impact, we're one, two, three here, right? So at just a matter of a few yards, this is where you're gonna see that, that mechanical height over bore, where my red dot is here, but my bore is several inches below that, that optic, right? So you're hitting here. So the thing is, is that if this was the bad guy with the suicide vest or the guy you know holding the knife to the girl's throat and you aimed here to hit that light switch, right? To put a bullet through the guy's skull, you just blew out his teeth and his lower jaw. Maybe his teeth and his jaw was enough to deflect the bullet from hitting his spinal column, which is immediately behind, right? So now you didn't sever his brain stem, and the guy still lives long enough to hit the detonator or to kill a girl, right? You can live without a jaw, you cannot live without a brain, 
what the whole point of this is to destroy the brain. Lights out, motherfucker, right? So if we look at human eye, right? right. That's the whole point. So the thin bone between the eye sockets and the soft cartilage, that it doesn't matter. So we're still aiming center mass. So if I'm a little bit over, cool, I'm in the eye socket. If I'm a little bit low, I'm in the nasal cavity. It doesn't matter, it's cool. It's still gonna go through and it's gonna hit the brain. So what that means is we look at this offset. So at extremely close range, this right here, this dead space at the top of the skull, that's gonna be your aiming point for the next three rounds. All right, so we can see the, dis the, the difference here, right? We aim just, this, you're aiming right here. So ultimately at the end of the day, that is still inside the terminal T, right? So this, ideally I want it in the eye socket, the navel cavity, uh, the, yeah, the, the nasal cavity, but if I'm slightly above or slightly left, so it's still good enough for government work, right? Realistically, this, that's why Rockwell Tactical uses this as a triangle. Because realistically, as long as you keep those shots in the triangle, that's probably gonna be okay. But we don't wanna go with probably. We want we want to mitigate that uh, that that chance for inaccuracy as much as possible. So I can just aim small, miss ball. I'm not aiming for the dude's head. I'm aiming for right between his eyes, or I'm aiming for his left eye or his right eye. I'm aiming for the bridge of his nose. I give myself that definitive aiming point and I aim for it. And if I'm off target slightly, well, it's okay because I'm still inside the terminal T or I'm still inside that, that triangle. So that's, that's the point. But now you can see the difference between that mechanical offset, that height over bore issue that we have. Once we go back out to 25, it won't matter anymore. Once we go out, back out to 50, it won't matter anymore, right? It's only for ex extremely close ranges. Realistically, zero to like 15 yards. That's where I have to remember consciously that if I absolutely positively have to pull it exactly finitely where it needs to go, I have to hold high to drop the bolt where I want it to be. And then, it was like two. 1.60, All right. 1.79. That was crap. Stand by. One point zero one, one point one six. 